Hi guys, Mobility with Miss Megan today. I have a little bit of a special episode. I have a friend that let me use one of their wheelchairs so that I can demonstrate how some of my friends can use a white cane in their wheelchairs. And sometimes my friends are participating with their feet and so they might be able to do both propelling with their feet and their hands. Um, some are only being pushed through space and so wherever your student is at you would have to adapt um, for whatever their needs but I want to show you some things you can work on okay here we go okay I'm gonna push myself back and try to speak up ah, Miss Megan is not the best driver so for some of my friends they have a helper that is pushing them and they are to hold their cane and they might have adapted their grip. They might have hands on top. This is obviously ideal, but if your student is even holding the cane like this and they're getting used to holding the cane, um, you can modify. So there's a foot plate on some wheelchairs and we can have the cane on their leg even. Um, and that way, as they're being pushed, they can feel the ups, the downs, the bumps, the changes in texture, all of that is vibrating and giving them feedback through their cane and helping them to realize where they are in space. Even if your student is nonverbal, they know and they can feel from concrete to carpet or from carpet to tile, and it gives them a better idea of where they are um, as they're traveling through different environments. Okay, so first up, are they holding it in their wheelchair, um, maintaining the grip, whether it's a modified grip or a handout grip. Um, we're working on those two things first and just having the cane be your helper, be your companion and help you participate in your travel. So the second part that I like to work on is helping the student learn to identify different openings um, in doorways, in hallways, the end of a hallway. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Um, and some of this can be done on their own and some might be done with prompts. So the first example is going to be finding a uh, opening to a doorway, okay? Scoot back here. Okay. So, your student can be right-handed, they can be left-handed, either one. And um, if they're looking for an opening on the right, you could verbally cue them. But they might be going through space like this. And then you can say, oh, friend, I think we might have found a door. Can you check? And see if you can get them to move the cane at all. And the idea is they found the doorway in their classroom. They're participating in their travel. Another thing is that maybe they're looking for a turn in the hallway. And so if you can actually help them position their cane. Oh, let's see what cane can find. And then when they feel the end of the hall, the cane is going to push that direction. And you can say, oh, Kane found the turn in the hallway. Let's turn right or whatever it may be. And again, uh, this is a modified grip, but the traveler is still getting the vibration through the cane. They're feeling that slip when you find the end of the hallway. Let me show you guys a little bit more. There's the corner. So all of that as they're trailing, Oh, there it is. I found the turn. And you can narrate that if your student is nonverbal. You could have a verbal student say, oh, there it is, or whatever cues work for you guys for them to participate more um, in moving through space. A lot of our students are just being pushed through their day. And so the more that we can help them with their orientation of where they are, um, obviously the better and the more independence and participation in their travel skills. So uh, the last thing I want to show you really quick, after we're working on just kind of shorelining, 
trailing the walls. Um, there are travelers who, especially if they're long-legged enough to do foot propel, they will participate in a side-to-side. -side. Um, some students are ready for that and some are not. So if you have any questions, please let Miss Megan know and I would love to help you guys. I hope you're having a great day and staying warm. I think it snowed today. So yeah, have a great week guys, bye.